Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 2 bike rack here on our 2021 GMC Canyon Denali. Now the Kuat Sherpa is one of my favorites because of how it covers pretty much everything you're looking for when it comes to carrying around your bikes. Now this isn't extra heavy in terms of weight capacity, but if you just have an average bike, you're going to have all the premium features you will need or want. One of the features it has is that it can tilt away. To do so, you pull on this lever and then this drops down to a tilt. And you'll want to do this, let's say, if you want to access your hatch or lower your tailgate. Now, what I did notice on our truck here is that I couldn't lower the tailgate all the way. So that's one thing you're going to have to think about with this truck and with this bike rack. The alternative to it, though, is you can take the bike off which is actually a feasible option with this style of a bike rack because it is pretty quick to mount and dismount your bike. Let's take a look at that while we're here. So we have two points of contact with our bike. In the back, we have this rear wheel strap, and that's gonna be the first thing you're gonna do when you wanna take off your bike. So you press that button, and then you pull up on that strap, and then I recommend leaving it to the side. That way it's not tangled up in your spokes when you take your bike off. Then you come over here to the front, hold on to your bike as you do so, so it doesn't tilt backwards. Then you press this button, lift up on that front wheel clamp, push that out, and that's it. You're ready to go on a bike ride. And with the bike off, you can take a closer look at the bike rack itself. So here in the back, we have this rear wheel cradle, and that's gonna tilt to accommodate different wheel bases. The maximum wheel bases can accommodate is 47 inches. You have that rear wheel strap with a slight padding on the inside, and that's gonna help prevent extra scuffs and scratches on your wheel. This comes down and it ratchets down to secure that rear wheel. Then here in the front, we have this front wheel cradle. An interesting about, thing about this is, this is a really compact design compared to other bike racks. So this folds down and you just get that nice minimalistic look. And here in the front, we have this front wheel clamp. I like this design because like we had a carbon frame bike just earlier and that means I didn't have to worry about accidentally warping my frame because it secures it by the front wheel. But this also works well with let's say if you have a children's bike, a women's bike, or a step through bike, then you don't have to get a frame adapter bar. So this folds down for a nice compact look. One thing to remember when you do have a bike rack on your truck is there is some length added to the back of it. So let's see how much here on our GMC Canyon, measuring from our rear bumper to the end of the bike rack, we have it sitting at 33 inches. So that's pretty normal for a two bike rack, but still something to keep in mind when you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot that you do have that extra length added. Let's also talk about ground clearance real quick. Now for a truck, it's not that big of a problem because we have a ground clearance of 25 and a half inches from the tray and 17 inches from the shank. So you've got plenty of ground clearance. You don't really have to worry about it when you go up a steep incline like a driveway or a hill. But if you use this on another vehicle, it might be an issue. So that's what you have to work with. As for weight capacity, this has a weight capacity of 40 pounds per bike, which is more than enough for most of your regular mountain bikes or your bikes you just take down to the trail. Now, if you have an e-bike, that might go over it, so check out that weight. Before you look at this, if you do have an heavier bike, you might want to be interested in, let's say, the Kuwait Transfer or the Kuwait NV. Another of its features is that this can fold up. To do so, pull on that lever, and then fold it right up just like that. So here, it's a big difference compared to when it was folded down. Let's take some measurements again. Measuring from our bumper to the end of the bike rack, right where those trays are, it's eight inches, and this sticks out a little further, right there where that knob is, and that sits at about 14 and three quarter inches. You definitely want it in this position when you're driving around town. As for closest point, we have it at 
From the bumper to the end of the bike rack, we have three and a half inches of clearance. So plenty of space and you don't have to worry about this making contact with your truck. With it folded up like this, let's take a look at how it works on our truck. So our lights are completely open. Our backup camera sits above the bike rack so you don't have to worry about that obstructing your view. Now your license plate is down here and it's slightly covered, but you can still see around the sides. And let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So this has a two inch solid shank and it uses a hitch pin and a lock. So that lock is key to like to the cable lock that comes with the bike rack. That way you can you know, lock up your bikes as well as your bike rack and help deter theft when they see that is locked down. Um, this has a tool free install. That means you just pop it into your hitch and tighten it down with this anti rail knob. So that extends a ball cam inside your hitch. So as you see, as I shake our bike rack, I'm mainly shaking the vehicle at this point, which shows that if you do feel any of that, you know, you're going over bumps, you're going over rocks, and this is shaking around, you're not getting any extra sway from an improper contact between the two, making for a smoother ride for your bikes overall. All right, so my final thoughts about this bike rack is I really like the Kuwait Sherpa minimalistic design. Now Kuwait has this in different colors as well. This is gray with those orange accents, but it also comes in pearl and black depending on your vehicle. Another thing about this is it's a really good mid-range bike rack, not as pricey as your other premium bike racks, but it still has all those important features. So that was a look at the Kuwait Sherpa 2.0 here on our 2021 GMC Canyon. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. So we can see here how the bike rack moves with our truck.